Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be installing Drupal on your local machine. Um, what I'm going to be using today is XAMPP or XAMPP. Um, you can also use MAMP. The instructions are really similar. Um, I'm on a Macintosh, of course, so um, um, if you're using Windows, you know, you can sort of follow along and the instructions are very similar. So um, what we're going to do is we're on Drupal.org here. First, we're going to download. So you go download and extend download Drupal, uh, find the latest version, I'm just going to grab the zip and it's uh, down here in my downloads alright, when it's done unzip it, okay, so I'm going to put it in uh, in XAMPP, there's your folder and the htdocs, so I'm going to drag this Drupal 7 dash, or yeah 7.1, whatever, 7.12 so I'm going to drag this down here and we can just rename this um, so this just can be short for whatever your name is, whatever your website's name is. I'm just going to call mine ST for my name. So ST. All right. And the the main reason we want to um, drag the whole folder, and in, instead of um, instead of just copying the contents of the folder, is because this contains hidden files, and you can't uh, actually see hidden files by default in Finder. So um, like there's a HD access file that uh, does a lot for your Drupal site that you'll want to make sure is in your folder. If you're having some weird problems, always make sure that uh, you made sure that you copied the whole folder instead of just the contents. So now that we have that there, the next thing we need is a database. So I'm going to go here to PHP My Admin. Um, if you're using an exam, you can get to it through PHP My Admin here on the side. And we're going to create a new database. I'm just going to call this D7 underscore ST. It's created. Okay. So now if we browse to our local host and the folder ST, um, we are going to, let's see, localhost ST. All right. So you'll get to the installation screen. Um, before we run the installer, you need to actually set up a couple more things first. Um, one of which I want to have transmit for um, just to set permissions. Uh, you can use it basically. I think you know you can pretty much use you can use terminal finder. Um, I, I just like transmit's interface for setting permissions, so I'm just going to show with that. So in your folder here, under sites um, and under default, you have this default settings.php. Um, what you're going to need to do is duplicate that file. Um, and then you're going to rename this to just be settings.php. Don't just change the settings that or default settings.php. Uh, um, deleting this one uh, because Drupal actually needs both of those files. Um, so you're going to want this setting, this file, to be able to be written. So over here in transmit, I'm just going to browse to that location, sites, default, settings.php, and then. I just did uh, command I to bring up the info and we're going to change this to 666 okay so so that Drupal can write to this file so we'll also need a files folder within our default folder so just in here we're gonna um, make a new folder called files put that in here and then uh, we want this to also be writable, so we're going to give this 777. Okay, so now we should be ready to install Drupal. If we come up to here, uh, go back to our local host, and then browse to the directory you have your files in, it's going to automatically take you to install that PHP. So we're going to select Standard, we're going to click Save and Continue, okay, and now it's going to ask for your database information. If you remembered, we named ours D7 underscore ST. Um, you could have named yours whatever you would like. And so for example, uh, your database username is root, and your database password is blank. Um, uh, from what I understand, uh, for MAMP, I believe it's root, and then your password is also root. So now we're going to click Save and Continue, and it's going to be installing Drupal for us.
Okay, so now that that's done, um, it just ask for some site information that it'll you know propagate so that your site um, is you know starts off usable. So um, your site name, I'm going to call this Scott Tolinsky because that's uh, it's going to be a personal site for myself. Um, so this is just going to be my email address, um, username. I'm going to keep it as admin. Um, email address. I'll use my email address, of course. And then password. I'm going to make a super secure password. Um, just so nobody can get into my admin account and mess up my site. Okay. Default country, United States. Okay, and the time zone in. Um, this time zone's fine for me. Okay, so I'm going to keep these checked just so um, Drupal emails me about notifications, about modules that need to be updated or anything. So I'll click Save and Continue. And now uh, Drupal has finished installing. So we're going to visit our new site, and here it is. And one more thing we want to do before we're all done is we want to change that settings.php file back to being uh, 644 because uh, that way people can't access or write to it, um, make your site more secure. All right, so we're all good there. Refresh, and here's your site. Uh, you now have Drupal installed on your local host. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and I'll see you next time.